Hi, I'm going to show you how to mount different USB drives with different file systems for your Raspberry Pi to use as storage. So this requires that you've already set up um, SSH on your uh, Raspberry Pi and uh, have it up and running on the network. So we'll open up PuTTY. I know the address of my Raspberry Pi already. So if, if you haven't changed anything, if you've just left it with the default OS Raspbian, Login is Pi and the password is Raspberry. So first, we'll need to insert a USB drive. First one I'm going to do is an EXT4 flash drive. Plug that in. Raspberry Pi. And there's a different ways you can see your uh, USB drive. First, you'll need to find out what device it is. So we can look in D message pipe that in the tail to see we can already see SDA and the drive is mounted my PNY flash drive um, is mounted as SDA1 and if that can't if you can't find anything in there you can do sudo f disk tac l to see what drives clear that out what drives are uh, on your Raspberry Pi? We can see this is the SD card, the OS on it, and then we have my flash drive is SDA. Here it is, the partition SDA1. So once you've found your drive, and also you can find it in another place in the dev folder if you want to. Oh, I forgot. SD star. As you can see, there it is, SDA, the drive, and then the partition. So now what we'll need to do is mount it to the file system, the root file system. So we can go to um, MNT folder or the media folder, wherever you want to go. And there's nothing in there, so we'll have to create a folder to mount this flash drive to the file system. So we're going to do MK, make a directory. You can call it whatever you want, USB, I'll name it. And then all you have to do is sudo mount, sudo mount, the device name, and the directory. That you want to mount it to. And there you go. So if we'll ls, We'll CD into USB. As you can see, there's that lost and found folder usually found in ext4 um, file systems. So now you've got that mounted the ext4 file system on your um, Raspberry Pi. Now, if you want this to mount to that folder every time you boot up the uh, Raspberry Pi, we can go to the uh, FS tab. So sudo nano, I'll use nano, Etsy FS tab. And all we have to do is add a line to below it. So we're going to put the device name and then we're going to put where do we want to mount it to, media slash USB, what file system it is. And defaults. And that's it. So control O, enter to write. And there you go. You've got ext4 will automatically mount when the pineapple is powered on to that USB folder. So uh, if you want to change the permissions of that drive, for example, if you have um, don't want to worry about any file system permissions or if you're getting errors or whatever you just want to do some debugging and the last thing you want to worry about is a uh, file permissions what we can do is also at x out of nanos control x we'll have to chamod that uh, drive that we mounted so go back to media and there's our usb folder ls l you can see group and other only have read and execute so we can change that by sudo chmod 777usb. So all we're telling is give full permissions to uh, user owner, group owner, and other uh, for that USB flash drive. Their ls tech you can see now the drive has full permissions. 
so anybody can read and write to it. It's probably not the most secure thing, but if you don't want to worry about file permissions and just want to start working on some packages or if you're doing something, um, you don't have to worry about it. So next, uh, if you want to unmount it, sudo u mount is the command to unmount it from that uh, direct, uh, from the file system and the device name. And there we go. If we ls again, we go to cd, usb, you can see there's nothing in there. So now you've uh, successfully unmounted it. And that's how you mount and play around with the ext4 file system. So we'll unplug it. And the next one I want to work on is a FAT32 file system. So we'll plug that in. Got another drive here. You can see it's mounted again, my other PNY flash drive. This is a FAT32. So, once you found it, all you have to do is now sudo mount device name and where you want to mount it to. Also, for FAT32, any kind of FAT file system, you may want to add tac o umask equals 000. When you mount it, it'll give um, user owner, group owner, and other full read, write, and execute permissions. If you want, uh, don't want to worry about again file permissions or whatever. So we'll mount it like that. And uh, ls ls tech l, you can see full read, write, execute permissions for everybody. Full CD, it's just ls USB. You can see there's that. Uh, usually that's hidden in the file system, but here it's showing. So if you want to automatically make that mount on that uh, USB folder on boot, just go back to the FS tab. So sudo nano etsy FS tab. We'll get rid of that other line we had. And the same thing again, really. It's uh, the device name. and where you want to mount it to. Basically what, where. And we're going to do vfat, this is the fat file system. Defaults, comma, again, if you want to add, um, if you want to add full permissions to the file system, you can do umask equals zero, zero, zero. And that's it, control O, enter, and there you go. That drive should mount to that folder with full permissions. Again, we'll unmount it, sudo umount. Unmount the file system. See, it's unmounted. So next, we're going to mount a NTFS partition on another drive I've got here. So first, Thing you're going to need for NTFS if you don't have it already installed I'll install it again just to show you go through it with you you'll need to install this package NTFS 3G so then you can read and write to NTFS type uh, drives For that should be pretty quick. Again, while we're waiting, you don't have to have UMask, but like I said many times before, if you don't want to mess around with file permissions, you just want it to work for testing or something, uh, you can uh, apply that.
All right, so now that it's installed, that package will insert our NTFS formatted flash drive. And uh, we'll look for it. You can see that's uh, mounted. The SanDisk Cruiser fit I got in there. Um, there it is. Mounted is SDA1. So again, we can just mount it now to that USB folder. Pseudo mount the drive. And where we want to mount it to. Also, you probably want full permissions. You don't have to, but I like to do that. And that should mount. So you can see ls tag l Full read write execute permissions on user group and other for USB. Last USB. You can see it's mounted there. Again, if you want it to mount automatically when it boots, let's go back to the FS tab. Uh, just add the same thing like we did before. What drive, where you want to mount it, and what type of file system. This time it's NTFS. Again, you can leave a default and you don't have to have UMass, but I like to put it there and control O to write, enter to save, and that should be it. And control X to exit out of nano. Again, if you want to unmount it, sudo umount sudo sda1 and there you go, you've successfully unmounted the uh, NTFS partition from your file system. So that's how you mount different uh, flash drives to your Raspberry Pi with full permissions. I showed you EXT4, FAT32, and NTFS. If you like this 